Beloved by everyone from Chef David Chang to the Kardashians, Popeyes isn't just Louisiana fast, it's a cultural phenomenon. But before you dig into a biscuit combo, you might want a little taste of the real story behind the brand. Calling Popeyes founder Al Copeland colorful is a bit of an understatement. When he died in 2008, his obituary in the Times-Picayune was filled with anecdotes like his tendency to keep his speedboats in a giant glass wall display case along the interstate. He also once opened another restaurant in New Orleans called Straya, which hugely offended author Anne Rice. She said, The humblest flop house on this strip of St. Charles Avenue has more dignity than Mr. Copeland's structure. She was attached to the location because it made a key appearance in her book Memnock the Devil. Her most famous vampire character was supposed to make his final appearance while gazing through the windows of the building. I might come up with some t-shirts that say bite me. Copeland took out a full-page newspaper ad offering to help her find her lost vampire. And when she sued him, it was thrown out of court. Popeyes is jumping on the controversial emotional support pet bandwagon and I'm loving this. For the 2018 holiday travel season, Popeyes decided to do something a little extra special for the weary travelers passing through the Philadelphia International Airport. Give them emotional support chickens. According to USA Today, the chicken-shaped to-go box promo had followed recent headlines about passengers being denied the chance to fly with emotional support peacocks, squirrels, and pigs. PETA, of course, was quick to point out the irony when they tweeted, Popeyes is selling boxes of dead emotional support chickens for the holidays, proving they're not above mocking mental illness and animals who died gruesome deaths. Longtime Popeyes fans remember when it used to be called Popeyes Chicken and Biscuits. Today, it's Popeyes Louisiana Kitchen. So, what's up with that? You know what I love about Louisiana? Probably my cooking. I love the flavors that come out of here. According to Nation's Restaurant News, the change came at a time when Popeyes was floundering. Over the course of 10 years, Popeyes turned itself around under the leadership of former CEO Cheryl Batchelder. And the first step in the chicken chain's rehabilitation was the name change. Former Chief Brand Officer Dick Lynch said the state of Louisiana was chosen for the name after a lot of debate, not just for its close Creole heritage, but also because it allowed the company to branch out into other things, like seafood. You are good, Annie. Not half as good as my shrimp. There are a ton of celebrities who have spoken out publicly on their passion for Popeyes. Everyone from Nicki Minaj, Beyonce, and Kanye West, to chefs Anthony Bourdain and David Chang, to MMA fighter Daniel Cormier, have posted on social media about their love for Popeyes. But there's a catch. Oh, it's on. Oh no, please don't do the it's on. What does that mean? In 2017, WWD reported the FTC issued warnings to various celebrities about just how careful they needed to be when they post. The alert essentially reminded celebs and influencers that if they have any kind of contract or financial connection to the company, they need to disclose that in their posts. Popeye's massive rebranding campaign was a huge success, but it sure wasn't flawless. Part of the restructuring involved the creation of a spokesperson, Annie. According to Ad Age, Popeyes described her as the public face of the changes at Popeyes and a sign that they were tapping into their Louisiana roots. But CBS reported that not everyone was thrilled with Annie, a character some saw as more than a little racist. I think we've made a lot of progress here. I feel great. Then when Jerry Rice appeared in other cringeworthy Popeyes commercials, Atlanta Black Star reported that didn't go over well either. Yet no one seems mad enough to stop buying their chicken. This is the craziest thing I've ever done for chicken. These days, many fast food restaurants have overhauled their menus to include some healthier options. Even Taco Bell has healthy choices available. But Popeyes is still serving up the same fried chicken. Their Live Well menu, which offers healthy options under 350 calories, is basically just sides and smaller portions of regular menu items, without a leafy salad in sight. So what gives? Former CEO Cheryl Batchelder told the Financial Post in 2015 that they've tried healthier options, but those just haven't sold. She explained, People are eating a lot of baked and broiled chicken at home. I like to say we eat boring, healthy food at home, and we eat things like Popeyes when we go out to enjoy a special evening. Looks like Popeyes fried chicken is here to stay. Love that chicken from Popeyes!